What's up with all y'all, man? If y'all new to the channel, go ahead and press that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. I appreciate it. But it's no limit. Cairo, is he wrong for exposing G Herbo and Bibby? Now, a lot of people saying he wrong because he should have just handled that behind the scenes and it could have just been done with a phone call. But I feel like Cairo, he was just speaking his truth. I honestly, I feel like he was just speaking his truth. He wasn't trolling. There's no need for him to be capping. He's not a rapper. I'm sure he good with the bread. He's not stressing. It's just Cairo been there from the start. And, this, and that's the thing. A lot of people getting confused since they fans of G Herbo. And I like his music. I'm a supporter of his music. He dope. Don't get me wrong. But the fans of G Herbo, they looking at it like, oh, Cairo, he just hating and this and that. But they don't know what go on behind the scenes. They don't know they everyday life because Cairo, where all them real no limit outstanding members they be there they know the truth we don't we just know the music and what's on the surface so they know all the ins and outs so i took that when he was speaking on his interview i'm like okay he really speaking from the heart and he was just letting people know what it is now i will say i feel like herbo is in the wrong because people saying oh he not well Cairo, he was saying oh he not living up to his name and he not practicing what he preached he went, he won't say, oh, he went Hollywood and he just forgot his homies. He was just saying he not practicing what he preached, as in Swervo always name dropping in his songs, talking about his homies doing this, his homies doing that in the streets. Because the No Limbs, they really be putting in work, but they not really close to him like that. Like, G-Herbo ain't really close to him, to all them like that, to be name dropping. Like, he don't really be doing that. And Cairo, he just pretty much like, hey, we doing all this work, we doing this and that. And you over here name dropping us in songs, and but you ain't really helping out. Like when he was talking, I posted a video yesterday of the deleted part. It was part seven of 16 shot of interview shot to him. YouTube took it down. They not playing with none of that. They blocking everything. But um, yeah, he was basically saying like, oh, in one of G Herbo's songs, he was going to take his little cousin wet to Egypt once he came home from jail. He was like, hey, wet, he's still on Essence right here. He ain't been to Egypt yet. Like <laughs> it wasn't funny, but it was just like, damn, you could tell they was hurt. And that's... That's what I'm that's the vibe I'm getting from. I don't think Cairo no backdoor shisty shit. I just think they hurt because it's like, bro, you keep putting us in your songs like we close and we not. We the ones that's putting in the work. We the ones that's giving you something to rap about. We understand you the rapper, you the mascot, but at least help us out. Like you ain't doing nothing. Like you ain't picking up phone calls. You ain't doing nothing for the homies in jail. You ain't doing this. You ain't doing that. And it ain't even like, oh, they looking for handouts. It's Herbo, he the one saying he gonna do this shit and he not doing it. That's him. So that's why I feel like he wrong. Like, Cairo, he wasn't saying he, he was Hollywood. He was on some shit like he wasn't really an original No Limit member. He just kind of popped up out the blue on the block like, hey, I'm from No Limit. And Cairo like, that ain't making sense. But he started rapping and he was like, he was also in the field later on down the line. But he just like, hey, G Herbo, he like a creative player. Like, he just kind of came up on the scene, but he was like, G Herbo, he not like overly soft or nothing like that. Like, he just ain't no lame out here, no goofy. But at the same time, he not what he making himself to be. Now, I feel like Cairo and them, if they didn't have that conversation behind the scenes, which I think they did, I feel like he'll be wrong. But I honestly, the reason why I say I feel like they had that conversation behind the scenes is because all the No Limit members was there in the interview. Cairo, he didn't even ask for them to come. They wanted to come and they was co-signing and everything. So that means they always felt like that or they had that conversation with with Swerve and Bibby and they ain't really and they ain't really respond. So they just like, fuck it. They going to let it out on the interview. And I could tell that they were speaking the truth because on one of his lives, it was Cairo, Merch Money, and then Lil Bibby, he was up there. Bibby, he really be on lives like that, especially with just rap shit. You know, he like a businessman now with the, the music. Like, he up there on the ladder, so he ain't just gonna get on no live like that. And the fact that Lil Bibby was up there, that spoke volumes. That really did. I personally, I don't feel like I don't feel like Cairo wrong for exposing him. I really don't. I don't. He ain't called um, G Herbo or none of them out their name. He won't like, oh, they bitches or they just soft or they don't do shit. Like, he was giving them their props. Don't get me wrong. He was even like, hey, baby, he was on the block. Like, he from No Limit. He grew up here. Like, he was talking about how he, um, how Bibby, since he's so light skinned, he was like, shit, they was like foreign in the hood. But I mean, he was giving him, he was giving them his props. Like, he won't just hate in or nothing. But at the same time, he like, man, it ain't what it seemed. It's not what it seemed. And that goes on. In the music industry a lot, nine times out of ten, these rappers is not who they portray themselves to be. It's just the image. They just characters. They just rapping, literally. But 
No limit in them, they reputables, man. They been putting in pain for a minute. They gang is deep. A lot of them passed away. A lot of them in jail. A lot of them still on the streets. A lot of them really be like about that pain, about that action. So for Herbo to just kind of be taking their name and running with it, that's fucked up, man. That's fucked up. And I'm glad that Cairo got that voice, his appear, his opinion on the situation. And just remember, this was Cairo's first interview. Cairo not known for doing interviews. He don't care about nothing like that. That's why he said, oh, everybody thinking I'm hating, but I'm not. Like this is this his first time ever speaking on the situation. And Cairo, he been known. Like everybody, they know him for the McDonald's interview and this and that. But he been known. He been known. Even his ops, they been giving him props and all that. So it ain't like Cairo just no goofy either. He ain't goofy. So that's what that's the thing. Like it's like you got real reputables speaking on the stars. And another thing is, all his homies was in that interview. Now, if he was just trolling, if Cairo was just trolling or speaking down on Herbo and Bibby, they would not let that happen. Cause you got the two biggest stars. You got Bibby and Herbo, the face of 150, the face of no limit. They gonna try to protect his name regardless they not gonna put dirt on his name if it ain't true they not they not people they just fans of herbo so they they just xing out all the logic like it wouldn't make sense for them to do that it would not make sense for them to do that he was like he did no cap but he was like as far as rock and kobe and pistol Pete, all the other names that he been like dropping he was like he don't even really know them he might have seen them once or twice but he ain't he won't really like lock down with him like that so I don't feel like Cairo wrong. And I do, like I said, I do feel like this is a bad look on G Herbo because even though he made good music, a lot of people, they're not going to look at him the same. That's just a fact. Like, a lot of people not going to look at him the same. And I think they know that because, like, you can go on 16 Shot Him interview or on his page and look at his interview, and there's two parts that's deleted. It's two parts that, that's deleted. Like, them boys know what's up. They deleted that shit. They're like, nah, do not put that out there. Do not put that out there. So, yeah, I don't feel like Cairo wrong. I don't feel like... Her, in a sense, I don't feel like Herbo went Hollywood, but at the same time, I feel like he not practicing what he preached. And I kind of always got that feeling like he's just the mascot, he's just a rapper. And nothing is wrong with that. But at the same time, if you just gonna be the rapper, just be the rapper, man. Don't be making it seem like you was out here in the field or you really close with the homies when you really not. You really not. And I get you can't help everybody, I get that. I get that, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying he gotta just give out handouts or none of that, but at the same time, don't make it seem like they locked in. Y'all locked in when y'all not. That's fake. That's fool. That's real fool. But then you can go out here and take care of and spend money on jewelry and cars. And you got a girl you want to spend hundreds of thousands on her because he be saying it in the songs. But you don't want to take your cousin who beat quadruple bodies to Egypt. And you said you was going to take him to Egypt. Lil Wet, he ain't asked that. Lil Wet, he was locked up. So you over here making it known like, hey, my cousin, hey, he putting in this pain. He doing this, he doing that. Man, I got rewards for him when he come out. And then he come out and he's still on the block with the rest of the homies. You see Lil Wet, he ain't around G Herbo like that unless it's for music. But every day he around the homies. He around the day ones. And that's another thing. Everybody's saying G Herbo and Bibby not really day ones like that. They got family members that are or that were putting in pain, but not them. So that's just my opinion, man. Y'all let me know y'all opinion on it, how y'all feel about the situation. More parts of the interview going to keep dropping, but it's groundbreaking. It's been going crazy. But, yeah, man, like I said, don't forget to hit them likes, them comments, subscribe. We out.